A manhunt is underway for a man pictured at the Brussels airport with two apparent suicide bombers, amid growing suggestions that the Brussels attackers were part of the same Islamic State cell that attacked Paris last year. Brussels awoke under guard after 34 people were killed, including three suicide bombers, and more than 200 injured in Tuesday's bombings at the Brussels airport and subway. A Belgian prosecutor identified one of the airport suicide bombers as Ibrahim El Bakrawi. El Bakrawi's brother, Khalid, was identified as the suicide bomber that attacked the Brussels subway. During a raid of the apartment where the brothers had stayed, investigators found more than 30 pounds of explosives. They also discovered nails and other material for making explosives. The two dead terrorists had heavy prior judicial records not connected to terrorism. Several people who may be linked to the Brussels attacks were still on the loose, and the country's threat alert remained at its highest level. Police conducted raids overnight and into the morning, searching for the third man in the photo. They detained one person who remains in custody and is under questioning. The investigations carried out by the technical and scientific police, together with numerous experts, are ongoing at the various crime scenes and will continue for many more hours, perhaps days. Meanwhile, the airport and several Brussels metro stations remained closed Wednesday, and authorities said the airport would remain closed at least through Thursday. Amid the chaos, lawmakers and citizens gathered at sites throughout Brussels for a moment of silence to honor victims of the attacks. Belgium is holding three days of national mourning for the victims. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.